welcome back to my channel if you have not like and subscribe the channel please like and subscribe the channel in this video i am going to say you how you can allow the activation lock on your supervised ios devices what is activation lock the activation lock is actually will help you in case of your device is lost or stolen so that they cannot resell or they cannot reuse your device anymore so apple has the capability to turn on this activation lock by integrating with the mdm so that the devices will be fully locked you can do also without uh, through the mdm why because as soon as you purchase the apple devices you sign with, with your with your apple id and if you open the find my iphone applications the activation lock get activated and the token will get stored and the recovery key get stored on the apple server so if the device is, is lost you you have seen or if you if somebody has theft your devices and they try to format your devices i mean to factory default and try to activate with another or with their personal apple id the devices will not get activated because it it device was act in activated in with your apple id and the activation code is stored on the apple server so they have to use either your personal your personal apple id to get it activated so how you can do that in into microsoft intune by leveraging that features so that if it's a company on devices if the devices has been lost we want to protect and make sure that no one can activate the devices even if they will factory reset the devices so what you have to do this is microsoft intune you can go to the devices sections here since we are talking about ios devices and the devices has to be supervised if it's not supervised if it's not coming through uh, apple business manager then you won't be able to apply those devices uh, the, those restrictions so you want to be uh, you won't be able to allow that activation lock from unsupervised devices i have already made video on how you how you can supervise the devices through apple configurator if it's a node dep or a uh, dep supported devices but yeah the devices has to be supervised to leverage that feature you have to go to the configurations policy and create a new policy and here you have to select the templates and under the restrictions select the device restriction create so you can give name i am just giving allow activation lock okay allow activation lock on ios devices okay you can give any name and under here the configuration setting click on general you will see there is all enrollment type this will apply for the dep and all supervised devices we'll go to the here automated device enrollment which is ade previously it's called a device enrollment program so this setting work for supervised devices that were enroll in intune using apple business manager with automated device enrollment formerly dep this include device supervised through apple configurator as well so here if you just scroll down you will see the allow activation lock so if you see what does it say activation locks make it harder for a lost or stolen devices to be reactivated so if you allow right you just have to select yes if it's not by default it's not configured you have to select yes click next and you want to apply to all users or just a supervised devices right create and you see the profile get created now this profile will get applied to your supervised devices let me refresh it let's open this one one more time and and you see here under the configuration settings only these settings we have allow allow activation log so as soon as you enroll your supervised devices through dp or ade the activation log will get activated and you will see the activation log 
on your devices so you have to go to the devices you have to you, you have to find one devices and go to the hardware sections and you will see the activation log so if some if somebody if you reset the device and try to activate that ios devices with any other any other apple id which is not activated initially then you won't be able to activate for that you need to use your activation id if you forget your password you you just factory set the devices open and in where it's asked for the uh, the a, a, mm, the apple id and the password leave the apple id field blank and in the password field you just enter the activation code which you can see it from here and then you can you will able to activate the devices because that's, that's activation is associated with the devices or else you need to contact apple care support with your proof of ownership and they will validate your ownership and then they will unlock your devices i hope you learn how you can allow the activation lock uh, on your devices how you can configure the policies for the activation lock and this is very good uh, features to protect your company owned devices and so that if something has been lost stolen you can have the control to recover the devices till then thank you have a good day